to control a character on Scratch. So let's say that I want to make my Scratch cat do something like to grow. And I don't want to use a code block to do that, but I want to create a button that when I click the button, it will actually make the cat grow. So first of all, I'm going to make a button by creating a character. So I'm going to go to choose a sprite. I'm going to go to paint. I'll choose a color. Using the color picker, I'll make a rectangle as my backdrop for the button. Then I'll add text. I need to change the color of the text. If I use the same color, it will blend in and I won't be able to read it. So let's make a button that's called grow. Let's say I want to enlarge that. I can just drag it, center it, and I can also change the font. Maybe this font's a little bit more fun. Now, I've created my character. It's a little too large, taking up too much real estate on the screen, so I'm going to shrink it to 25% of its regular size. And I've created a grow button. You could spend more time and make your button a little bit quicker, uh, a little bit more, more slowly, rather. I've done it quickly so that I can just get through it for the sake of this video. So I've added my grow. Now I go to events, and there's a block that's called when this sprite clicked. So this sprite, this character, means grow. So when I click on this character with my mouse, it's going to do something. And if I simply go to looks and I say I want to change the size by 30 and I attach this, we're going to notice a bug. The button itself is growing. I don't want the button itself to grow. I want the cat to grow. So I can't add this change size to the cat. What I need to do is I need to send a message to the cat. Messages have two parts. First, I need to broadcast the message to send it out. And I'm going to use a title that's very obvious. So I want the cat to grow when it receives this message. So I'm going to title the message cat grow. When I click on the cat, it's going to do the second part, receive the message. When I receive cat grow, this is where I'll actually apply the change size block. Let's test out the project. When I click grow, the cat grows.